Hello everyone. This is just a quick tutorial video on how to install Stalker Reanimation Project 2 and also giving you a quick rundown on how to incorporate it into other mods. Uh, first, let me just show you how to install it. It's pretty simple. Um, uh, say this is your open RAR and this is what you'll see here. Go to your base folder first, grab your game data folder and copy that and paste it straight into your main Stalker directory. Now that that's done, uh, you can open it here, and you can see that you have your particles, um, some including textures that I have, your sounds, and your meshes. Now, of course, that isn't all that you need to make this run. The next thing that you're going to need to do is install your configs. Um, since this is for Clear Sky, I'm going to open up the Clear Sky folder, and uh, you'll see that you have several options here. In the README, you'll find that um, I have added support for Stalker, sorry, uh, Sky Reclamation Project. It's a fantastic, unofficial uh, patch for the game that fixes many of the bugs that came with the stock game um, without adding all the extras like um, Complete Mod did. Um, but uh, since this is just the vanilla version of the game, uh, we go into vanilla, and again, you can just drag and drop, or copy this, directly into your um, their Sky folder. Now in this state, it is ready to run. Uh, say you wanted to use uh, Call of Pripyat, and you wanted to use um, Atmosphere. Atmosphere 3. What you want to do is you want to install Atmosphere 3 first and then install Stock Reanimation Project 2 on top of that. The reason is, is because uh, you have to do, there is a, um, a new particles.xr which has to be put on top of what's already there, which is this one here. Um, I already have Atmosphere 3 installed in the Stalker Call of Pripyat directory, and then Stalker Reanimation Project 2 is installed on top of that. And again, I just drag and drop this one right on top. It replaces the um, one that um, um, comes with my mod, because that one automatically replaces the one that came with Atmosphere. But this one has all the Atmosphere edits, plus the extra particles that I put in. So, there. Um, Call of Pripyat does have um, compatibility for Special Edition mod. Um, this one is still kind of in development. It's not released on uh, ModDB just yet, but uh, the person who's making it is getting to that point. It's a fantastic mod. It adds a lot of extra features and it fixes a lot of bugs and adds some um, missing missions back into the game and stuff like that. Um, overall, it's not an overwhelming mod, say, like um, Complete or something like that. Um, it's just a, a really good way to play the game, if you have experienced it that way. Okay, so, uh, last thing that I want to talk about is actually um, making this mod compatible with other mods. And I can actually show you this very quickly. Wait, the vanilla person here. We can open up any one of these, really. This is a, I've set this mod up so that it can be used with other mods very easily. And this is how you do it. Say you want to add the AK-74 into your mod. Well, I have changed a lot of parameters, and to make it easier for you to incorporate my mod into yours, basically all you need to do is open up your AK-74 LTX and um, open up mine. And here's mine. What I've done here is I've added in these little sections here. Let's see, SRAP2. And then, underneath all of that, you have all the edits that I made, which are right here. And then you have the, the HUD section, which is very important. And here I've also made a lot of edits, um, changing the uh, aim positions, the weapon positions. I've also changed up a lot of the animation calls here too. So to make it easier for you to copy everything over, basically all you need to do is select everything from here 
all the way down here, copy it, and then uh, let me just open up a vanilla file here for you. Oops, too far. Yep, this is all vanilla. So here's a vanilla file, and basically all you need to do is select from AK74 underscore HUD, scroll all the way down, right to the bottom here where it says Lean HUD Offset, hit Control, and Paste. That's it. That's all you have to do, and the game will run. Okay, one last thing about modding that I want to go into is um, the particles.xr. Um, say you want to merge my mod with your mod, and uh, you have edited the particles in the game some way. So you have an edited particles.xr, right? So um, I'm going to use atmospheres particles.xr for uh, just for example here. So data, game data. Uh, here's the old one. I've modified this one already. And uh, what I have here is a particle tool, and I will upload this to my Dropbox and I'll include it within the README so that you can find it easy. So, uh, we're going to post that paste that there. I'm going to rename this again so it's regular particles on XR. Um, I'm going to create a new folder here. We call it Atmosphere. Oops, I dropped the T. Oh, we and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy and paste these right in here. I'm going to extract this particles tool. And then what I'm going to do is you just click on the decomp uh, icon there. What it's going to do is it's going to run through this entire process and um, completely extract everything from this folder. There we have it. So now you have your entire particles XR folder extracted here. Now um, I'm going to grab my particles.xr. I'm going to create a new folder. Two. And I'm going to move this up here for now. Now we're going to paste this here. I'm just going to move this back real quick. So I lose it. <laughs> and extract this here. Decompile. And there's that. Now, the question might be, uh, you might be asking yourself, well, which particles did I edit? Well, I've included a file here that shows you everything that I edited or added. And that is the change, uh, change particles.txt here. If you open this up, it shows you a list of all of the particles that I changed and also the, um, I guess, the weapon effects. Um, of course, these are what play in the particles, but if you have messed with particles in any way, shape, or form, you probably already know that. So basically, all you have to do here is go into uh, myparticles.xr after you've extracted it, go to your weapons, and then you need to just select all of these files. So, like generic shells, pistols, that one, that one, uh, we need generic shoot underscore one. I missed one. I think I'm supposed to do this one as well. Unless I'm crazy. Oh, sorry. My bad. It's generic weapon. One and whoops, that one. And then we need the muzzle assaults. So this one's here. And we're just going to copy and paste those directly into our weapons folder here. Overwrite anything. And then we go back. So two. And then you're going to copy all these ones. Find out what I'm doing here. Generic shells. Zero one. One pistol. Want generic smoke. Zero 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 one zero two. And we want all of our weapon muzzles. Three four front left. SMG front right. I didn't include that one, I gotta fix that. And silencer. And then also there's the weapon test. Where is it? 
it's right in front of my face too. Yeah, and then you just copy and paste these. Right, oops. There we go. Weapons. Effects. Paste them right here. And what you want to do, go back to the main folder here. Uh, you can just delete or rename your particles.xr, so dot old. Yes. What you don't do is just click compile. Your dot new folder. Um, oh, sorry, dot new uh, xr. Just rename that back to .xr, put that into your game data folder, and you're done. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. Um, I am going to fix this so that uh, you know, all of the uh, particles that are fine fixed. <laughs> okay, well hopefully this has been enlightening and I've been able to explain to you um, how to mod and install this uh, mod as well into your game. Um, Thanks for watching, and uh, drop a like, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you. Bye.